on the threes. All right, everyone wanted to give you guys a run through of the tropics. Three name storms out there right now. We've got Karen that's sitting out uh, in the Caribbean. We've got Lorenzo off the African coast and then we've got Jerry Karen briefly went down to a tropical depression yesterday. It looks like it's starting to pick back up though. A tropical storm again this morning and we will talk about Karen at length here. Uh, that's going to be the closest one to watch the other two staying well away from the US. So here's how things look right now. You've got Jerry. You've got Karen sitting south of San Juan. You've got Lorenzo out along the African coast. You've got another wave coming up over towards the Yucatan. This wave right here has been develop a 20% chance over the next five days. It stays well south of Louisiana stays well south of the coastline there. So that's more of an issue for Mexico. Again, if you see anything develop, I think uh, there's certainly favorable conditions through this uh, part of the part of the Gulf. We're seeing a little bit of indication that, that it's certainly active and certainly favorable. So it's a place to watch here over the next couple of weeks for sure. Let's talk a little bit about Karen, which had a rough day yesterday. Went from a tropical storm back down to a tropical depression. Now back at a tropical storm. You can see some convection starting to get going. Two different areas of convection actually. So this may be starting to, to find a better center. This is coming up on San Juan and this is going to move northwards here over the next couple of days. In fact, a pretty interesting track and a track I think that we're really going to want to pay attention to. This is Karen here comes up northwards of San Juan over the next 24 hours making good movement out towards the Atlantic and then all the steering currents do start to break down towards the end of the weekend and it'll be a fairly strong tropical storm by the end of the weekend as well. 75 mile an hour winds here that's sitting pretty close to hurricane strength and it looks like it's starting to drift back over towards the west a little bit. Now we saw some model support for this yesterday. There were a couple of interesting runs from the European model which we wrote about yesterday at KTC.com. Now the runs today look a little bit better. They're a little less bullish on development sitting out uh, here the other side of the Bahamas. I still think it's one to watch though as it does drift westwards. We should know a lot more by the time we get to the weekend and we start to see that pattern breaking down because we'll have a better idea of which steering pattern is going to pick it back up. There are a ton of questions when it comes to Karen and it's going to be something to watch. The other two don't expect it to do much of anything. Lorenzo will be of note because it looks like it could become a major hurricane out in the Atlantic. It could hit category three strength over the weekend. But again, this is going to stay out in the shipping lanes. No real issues with Lorenzo at all. Again, Karen will be the one to watch and we'll continue to keep an eye on it as we get into the first week of October.